Doron Ezekson, Regional Director for the Anti-Defamation League. Doron, if we are to take white supremacists at what, what they're saying just at face value, that Trump's reactions have given them a clear green light to move forward, can you undo a message like that sent from the president himself in their eyes? Thank you, Narit. Unfortunately, uh, the president, I don't think, can undo what he has said. This is an epic failure of moral leadership. Uh, we have gone back and forth with the administration to try to convince them of the importance of a clear and un unequivocal message uh, that does not try to equate uh, Nazism and white supremacy and hateful ideology built on violence and extremism with debate within a normal political spectrum on issues such as the removal of Confederate monuments or the role of uh, various groups in our democratic society. Uh, we have called repeatedly on the president and his administration to demonstrate, not through just words, but also through actions, a clear commitment to meeting this challenge. And unfortunately, even in words, the president has failed. Now is the time for action of the people and for local uh, government officials and other government officials to take the reins here and to uh, bring back some level of stability to civil discourse. Doran, has the ADL gotten any sort of reaction from the White House to those overtures? Uh, we have not, unfortunately. Uh, we have offered to partner with the White House. Uh, we have you know, commended the president when he has made statements. Uh, that we thought were uh, re reflective of a recognition of the problem. Understand that we at the ADL have been monitoring extremist groups for years. Uh, we have been warning with increasing alacrity in the last months of the increased emboldening of these groups, their propensity to violence in fact, and their harassment online of increasing numbers of people. And th that is a, a law enforcement uh, challenge, it is a societal challenge, and unfortunately, the president just elevated these folks uh, and gave them yet more wind in their sails. And that is going to result, unfortunately, in more harm to our society. Briefly, Daron, what do you do going forward? What is your recommendation when you have a president who has doubled down on that statement? You have others obviously calling him out on it. But as you said, the statement has been made. The message has been sent. So this is now a... A seminal moment, I would suggest, not to be overly dramatic in American history. I think the American people have to decide what country do they want to live in. And each, each person has to reflect on their role moving forward. We at the ADL have worked extensively with law enforcement, and we very much support particularly local and state law enforcement and the FBI in their efforts to control this threat. We are working with institutions, Jewish and non-Jewish, to uh, understand the security uh, uh, challenges that they face. Uh, we have been working with uh, tech companies and social media platforms to come up with innovative solutions to online hate and we will continue to advocate with other members of the federal government both elected and appointed as well as state governments to implement the policies and to uh, generate the funding needed to create the infrastructure to fight back against these groups. After all, they are limited in number. Unfortunately, when left unchecked, their impact and their disruption is increasing. Doron Ezekson at the Anti-Defamation League in Washington. Thank you very much for weighing in an important message to be sent alongside the messages we're hearing from the White House.